This is a barrel of water that I have in my front yard. And the last time we looked at this barrel, I explained how I collect the mosquito eggs that I find on the surface of the water and then use the mosquito larvae that hatch out of those eggs to feed my fish. But in today's video, we'll be looking at a very different type of aquatic larva that appeared on the surface of the water last summer. Here we can see a small sample of some of the aquatic animals that I've found growing in this outdoor tub. The red worm-like creatures are bloodworms, which are the larva of the midge fly, while the tiny fast-moving creatures are daphnia, which are also sometimes referred to as water fleas. Let's take a closer look. In the center of the video are two rat-tailed maggots, which are the aquatic larvae of a creature known as a hoverfly, or sometimes they're also called drone flies. Hoverflies live on every continent except Antarctica, and there are over 5,000 different species found all over the world. Now let's clean up this water sample a bit and take a closer look at these bizarre animals. Rat-tailed maggots are typically found in places where there's lots of decaying organic matter, such as in stagnant or polluted water. They're also commonly found in very wet environments where there's an accumulation of animal waste products, such as on dairy farms and pig farms. These stagnant pools of water have very low levels of dissolved oxygen, and the rat-tailed maggot uses its long, tail-like appendage as a siphon, which it extends above the surface of the water so that it can breathe. These bizarre creatures are also linked to a condition where they can get into an animal's body and feed on the living tissue. This can happen if you ingest food or water that has been contaminated by the larva. And these rat-tailed maggots are so durable that they can even survive in the harsh acidic conditions that are found in the human stomach. There have also been rare cases where the larva have entered the body through open wounds. They can also get into the human body through other openings as well. However, I don't want to go into any more detail than that. But you can use your imagination for the rest. So my advice is to be careful when working around stagnant bodies of water such as outdoor tubs and be very careful not to accidentally ingest any of the water. Furthermore, if you ever come across one of these bizarre little creatures, don't feed them to your fish, because there's a very good possibility that they might start eating your fish from the inside out. And while all of this is quite disturbing, the adult hoverflies that these maggots will eventually grow into are valuable pollinators of many important food crops and wildflowers. And it's just another example of the incredible diversity of animals that live on this amazing planet. Thanks for watching, and have a beautiful day.